customer came in and he has um, already tubeless wheels. They're already set up as tubeless and these are just old tires that are up here. So what we did was we went through and we picked out um, the best tires for his, for his bike and I'm changing the old tires out for new ones and making them or keeping them tubeless. If the rims are already tubeless ready rims, then yes, you can do that. Um, they will say, they will say on the rim somewhere. Um, typically, new rims will say if they're tubeless ready. Um, the Mustang Elite LTs I know are. Um, they should say somewhere on here if they're tubeless ready. Um, if they're more than 10 years old, they may not be. But if they're newer, um, higher, higher in the in the line of, of wheels, usually are tubeless ready. Okay, when you change the tires to be tubeless, what do you need to do? Okay, um, if they've already got tubes in them, you take, you take, you disassemble everything. You will take the tubes out, take the tires off. And if some wheels are tubeless ready, but that means we have to tape them. Um, some of them we have to tape. And what the tape is, is it's a rim strip tape, but it also seals to keep the air out. I'm going to show you, these have a factory rim strip in them, which makes it a little bit easier. But, I'm going to clean it, and I'll show you the rim strip. So this is a plastic rim strip that's in there, and it seals the air inside the wheel. If it doesn't have that, what we do is we use a tape. It's called Stan's Tape and we take the inside of the wheel all the way around and we make it airtight. Or we make it as airtight as the tape can be and then the sealant will do the rest of it. Then the sealant is $4.99 for, for, um, for, for two ounces and a mountain bike tire we put four ounces in as the, the first time when you're doing it. So. Well, I cleaned it up. Now I'm gonna get the, get the tire on. This is the work, is getting the tire on. They make them a little bit um, tighter around the rim. There's less tolerance around the rim so that they'll be more likely to pull air. But it makes it that much uh, more challenging to get them on. And then this tire is, is um, um, directional specific. So I'm gonna line this up as the proper direction. I'll put the... When do you recommend to ride with tubeless? When do I recommend? Um, I recommend it mostly off-road. Um, if you're mountain biking, I really recommend tubeless because um, you, the, the tubeless can seal up some of those small cactus holes you get. I don't ride it on the road, but we have many people that do, so I'm not unrecommending it for the road. I, I like it for um, for mountain bike purposes. That's the that's where I like it. That removes the Schroeder valves, and this removes the Presta valves. If your if your tubes or your Presta valves will come out, that'll take them out. So what is that? This is um, orange seal. It's latex sealant. We use a variety of different sealants. They all work. The ones that we, the, way, the ones that we use, all work very well. I'm going to put what they call two shots in here. And again, this can get messy. We're happy to do it.
So you'll put four ounces in when you first um, make it tubeless, and then about every three months you'll put a two ounce shot back in there just to um, make it lively. Again. guys.